It's upgrade time. Yeah, for about one year. So you may be wondering, what is in here? Well, today we're going to be unboxing the Google Chromecast with Google TV. Let's get started. Um, didn't we roll the intro already? Yeah, you can just get to the unboxing now. Now this streaming stick is not like the Fire TV Stick 4K Max that I unboxed almost about three years ago. And if you want a flashback from this video, here you go. It's upgrade time. This is the Fire TV Stick 4K Max that I have unboxed November 2021. And if you want to watch the full video, the link is in the description. I'm going to be putting it there. And this thing also comes with Google Assistant. So for the last streaming stick that I bought was the Fire TV Stick 4K Max, which I had to do, I had to set it up all by myself. And for those of you wondering, I'm going to give another flashback to this video now. So right over here, I'm starting the video from the setup time screen. Now I'm going to speed up the video a little bit. So now the screen says no signal. Now the Fire TV is starting up. And then now this screen means that we're pairing the remote. Now we're setting up the Fire TV. This is the software update screen. And then now the Fire TV has restarted. Fire TV is starting up again. And then there's the software update screen again. And we have now gotten to the point where the camera has died on its own. I'm sorry for making you wait for this, but let's get back to the video now. So it's time to unbox it. Though I am unboxing the Chromecast with Google TV, you may wonder, where do you even open the box? Well, let's find out. This is right over here where you unbox. You're gonna take off the wrapper in here. You may notice the box in here is damaged, but that's okay. Let's continue the unboxing anyway. This also comes with 4K also, just like the Fire TV Stick 4K Max. Yep, that's right. So yeah, it's time to open the box. Here it comes, in three, two, one. So this is where it tells you in here. This right over here is the streaming stick itself. Let's pull that out first. This is the HDMI cable for the TV. And also you have the nice Google logo in here. Yeah, that's all. That's not all yet. This right over here is the remote. Let's take that out. This is the beautiful Google TV remote. This one over here is the navigation buttons. You have the OK button in here, up, right, down, left. And also you have the undo button. This is the Google Assistant button, the home button, the mute button, and also a shortcuts, your shortcuts in here. This comes YouTube and Netflix. You also have the power button. And right over here, this input button. You also have these volume buttons right here. It's where you can 
turn down the volume or turn it up. I didn't know what to say. Next in here, you also have this instruction manual in here. This is the setup guide for the let's get started for the Google TV. Under this instruction manual, you have this power outlet right here and the cable, an extension cable for this. Right over here. Let's take out the outlet also. This is the outlet right here. So yeah, it's time to set up. We're almost done. Here are two, um, I don't know what are these. These are batteries, but I don't know if they are AAA or not. Let's put them in the Google TV remote. Now we're gonna go ahead and then take this thingy off. This is the cable right here. And even two batteries. Let's try to unbox. Let's try to take the wrapper off of them. This is the struggle of unboxing batteries from the Google TV remote. It took me about three minutes to do this. And this is what I'm supposed to do every single day to place the batteries in the Google TV remote. I might have to get a Caesar for that. The colors of the sky fade with the setting sun as the stars begin to shine through the clear night. So now that we're all done, I'm gonna plug this cable into the outlet right here. And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and then plug the USB-C cable in right here. And then once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and then set up the Google TV. I also forgot this. This is where you place your batteries in here. But since we're gonna get to that later, let's roll the intro. Bro, what did I say about rolling the intro? Oh my goodness, bro. Give me the camera. Setup time. So now that I've rolled the intro already, I'm currently near the TV and I'm going to plug the HDMI cable in for the Google TV. Now I don't even know where to start. I only have this HDMI and now I'm going to have to unplug it. Okay, this is the point of view from the TV and now I'm going to plug it in. Detecting device. Chromecast is successfully detected. And I'm going to have to start pairing. This right over here is the start pairing screen. This is where you can pair the remote. Right over here, I'm going to adjust the camera to the best conditions. I'm gonna put the batteries in. This means that the remote is successfully paired. And see, it's navigating. So right over here, I'm going to set up the Google TV. I'm going to choose this language. That's my main language. And this right over here is the screen that says set up with the Google Home app. Download and open the Google Home app on your phone to get started. 
when instructed in the app, scan the QR code. This is why I'm recording from my iPad, so I can set this Google TV up on the phone. Or if you want to set up on TV instead, you can just click down in here. Let's click down in here, click on set up on TV instead. I'm going to go back in and I'm just going to set up with the Google Home app. This is how to set up the Google TV using your phone. Now. Here are some things that you must have. You must have a Wi-Fi connection, a Google account, and the Google Home app on your phone. Now, to do this, open the Google Home app. Now right over here, on the bottom, select devices, and then click on add. Now, choose a device. Click the second option in here. Ignore the addresses. And then you'll be able to choose a home. You'll be able to control the devices and services in this home. Let's click on next. It now says looking for devices. It now says Chromecast found. Would you like to set up Chromecast? Now, if you see the device is right, you must see the device's name on the top left of your screen. Click on Next. Now, Google Home needs your camera permission to scan the QR code and set up this device. So we're going to go ahead and then click on Scan Code. Now, make sure it's steady and well lit. See the QR code? And then, right over here, it's now loading, it's now connecting to Chromecast. In the screen, it now says connecting. And then it now says connected. Follow the instructions in the Google Home app. Now, it'll show this screen in here. Hi, Adam Modelli. Let's click on accept. Additional legal terms, I agree. And then I'm going to select here. It's in the living room. Next. Ignore the Wi-Fi network names. And then it says connect to Wi-Fi. Click on next. And now it says connecting to Wi-Fi. Now it says connected. It says sign in with your Google accounts. Click on continue. Signing into Chromecast. Ignore the notification. It says download the system update. You must follow the instructions in the Google Home app. It says software update. Your TV will restart and install software updates. While it restarts, continue with setup here. We're going to click on continue. Google services. And then click on accept. Right over here, you have the Google Assistant, find shows, movies, show me family movies, and then click on continue. So this right over here is TV, movies, music, search across all your TV apps. And then we're gonna click on allow. Right over here, it says you've set up recognition and permission You've already set up recognition and personalization for this device. Your settings for this home have been applied to your new device. Voice match is on, personal results are on, and then click on continue. Now, you might have to choose your subscriptions. This right over here is a list of subscriptions. I'm subscribed to YouTube, then next. 
and then choose an ambient mode. You didn't know the Google TV has an ambient mode. So you have the option to choose between Google Photos and your art gallery or the art gallery. I'm gonna choose art gallery because I kind of like the art. And then click on next. Now, you have art gallery, you have these photos right here. You have these categories, featured photos, fine art, earth and space, street art, and captured on pixel. Click on next. And then you also have a screen that says stay in the know. It's where you can stay up to date on Google's hardware products and related features, services, and offers. Plus, receive invitations to improve Google hardware products and related services. I'm going to sign up. And it says almost done. Here's a review of what you have set up. Click on next. And setup here is finished. Complete setup on TV screen with remotes. Done. Now that you have finished setting up your Chromecast from the Google Home app, your Chromecast will then restart to install system updates. You will then see a text installing system update, and then your Chromecast will then restart again. You will then see the installing system update text is bigger with the progress bar inside. This will take a few minutes. Once your Chromecast is done with the system update, your Chromecast will then restart again. It will show the Google logo at first, but then will show a black screen again. You will now see a Google TV logo indicating that the system update has finished installing on your Chromecast. Now once your Chromecast has finished restarting, you will now see a screen saying re-establishing your network connection. After that, it will now say connected. I've sped up the video because the video might be too long to upload to YouTube. Your TV will finish setting up as soon as it can. Once it is finished, you will then see a screen saying your Chromecast with Google TV is ready. You will see a button saying start exploring. We will click that now in 3, 2, 1. Now here are the categories. In the top left corner, you have your Google account. Other categories are For You, Live, Apps, Library, and Search with Google Assistant, and your Dashboard and your Notifications. Now that you have your settings in here, you have Display and Sound, Network and Internet, Accounts and Sign-in, Privacy, Apps, System, Accessibility, Remotes and Accessories, and also help and feedback. Now to the system settings. You have the option to restart your Chromecast. We're not gonna restart now. So now we're back in the Google TV menu. To use Google Assistant on your Chromecast remote, you will need to hold the Google Assistant button on your Chromecast remote. We will now hold the Google Assistant button on our Chromecast remote.
Now this is what Google Assistant looks like on the Google TV. Now that we're holding the Chromecast remote, we're going to hold the Google Assistant button. What's the weather? And then release the button. Google Assistant will give you the best result of what it tells you. You can also use Google Assistant to search for your favorite TV shows and your movies. You can also use Google Assistant for search inside apps like YouTube, Pluto TV, and more. And still, I can't believe, actually, I can't believe YouTube still works well in the Google TV. I just can't believe this. Now, if you want to know more about the Chromecast with Google TV, I will make a video about what you can do with the Chromecast with Google TV. This video is divided into two parts, and this is only the first part. As we have gone through the setup, a video will be coming soon about what you can do with the Chromecast by Google TV. Roll the outro, wrap things up for now. Thank you for watching.